Well, hello everybody. My name is Miss Molly. This is for entertainment purposes only, so I'll be entertaining you tonight. Uh, I have to say that. Uh, welcome to Musical Mediumship. I'm going to wait for people to show up. Hello, hello. Hi, Chantal. You're the first in. Welcome in, Chantal. I'm Miss Molly. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Beverly. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Hi, Wanda. How are you? Susan, boy mom, Penny Pack. Hey, Beverly. Welcome in to my live. It's me, Miss Mae. In case you've never seen me before, I am an intuitive psychic medium. Hey, Jules Bell. Hey, how are you? Stephanie, Shannon. I see a few of my subscribers showing up. I am having a great night. Thank you, Beverly. I hope you are too. I'm having a wonderful night. I had a great day, guys. Hey, Jules. We went, uh, we took the dogs on shore. We walked them around for a while. We took them to the dog park. They had a great time. We saw some really cute dogs. They had fun. And then we came back and we went grocery shopping and got the oil changed and had lunch and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then came back to the boat. It is so opposite right now as it was the other night. As some of you have been following, you know I live on a boat. That's why you'll hear noises in the background. Um, and that's a porthole behind me right there. I don't know if you can see Miami behind me. But um, anyway, we had a bad storm the other night. And a boat almost hit us. And it hit our neighbor's boat. And um, it was a little bit tumultuous here. And today it's the complete opposite. It is placid. The water looks like glass. There's almost no breeze. It's, it's totally different. So, weird. So tonight, you guys, we're going to do musical mediumship. It's a musical mediumship night. It's Friday. Everybody's ready to have fun. We are going to have a blast. So, subscribers get priority per usual, like Sam, for example. Um, <clears throat> and Sam, it says your, your subscription is going to expire in two days. So, just so you know. But if you are a subscriber, you get priority. It's only six bucks, you guys. Um, and I pick songs for you if you've never done this before. Hi. Uh, so you tell me that you want me to pick a song for you. I focus on you. I give you a song. And then it's your job to find out why that song is important to you, whether it be the lyrics, the way that it uh, relates to somebody you love or is meaningful to you, or it's a song that you like or has to do with something going on in your life right now, all those things. <clears throat> I'm the only person you've ever subscribed to? Well, thank you, Sam. I'm so very honored. I will definitely do one for you, Sam. I'm writing your name down right now. Of course, of course. And also, Jules Bell. Jules. Okay, and so also I just want to tell everybody who's watching that um, if I pick a song for somebody, I upload it. I have a Spotify playlist. I don't make any money from it or anything like that. It's just for you guys. Um, so you can go on Spotify and look up the song. In the next 24 hours or so, I'll post all the songs that I, I announced tonight. So, All right. Let me just catch up and we'll get rolling right away. Okay. Uh, hi, Leslie. Biggest tip to improve as a medium. Oh, that's such a great question. Boy, Mom, I got you. I do, I'll just need your first name when it's your turn. Okay. Um, I have a few videos about that, and I definitely want to help you with that, Leslie. Um, but what I'll tell you, the best thing to do is know that you know. Start learning to trust yourself. Do not question yourself. Every little thing that comes to you, whether I don't know what kind of clairs that you have, if you're clairvoyant or clairsentient or whatever, I don't care. But trust yourself. That's the number one thing. I also say write down everything that happens. Journal put dates, put times, even if you're not sure, you think you hear something, you think you thought of something, write it down, start tracking yourself. Those are two really good things. The third is there are no rules. Be intuitive about being intuitive and use the right intentions. That's the most important thing. So, but I do, I do mentor and I do have a lot of free stuff. Also on my YouTube channel, if you go into my learn folder, there's a lot of great stuff in there. So you can learn different things, including how to improve your abilities, which you all have, by the way. Hey man, welcome. Hi, Leslie. What's the list for? Yeah, yeah. The list is for if you would like me to do a, me a musical mediumship for you. I'm doing musical mediumship tonight. So, hi, Kimberly. Thanks for subscribing. You're on my list. Kimberly, she's a subscriber. All right. Love it. Did you guys know Molly used to be married to Donald Trump? <laughs> said that hum buggies you must have some really good weed tonight dude <laughs> i used to be married yes not to him are you on my list yes you are beverly now you are 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Beverly. I didn't write you down. Okay, I'm going to start out. We got Sam is first. I've got enough right now. She didn't want that to be public, right? I don't want anybody to know. Fake news. Um, we got Sam, Jules, Boy Mom, Kimberly, and Beverly to start out with. Doesn't mean none of you are going to get it. That's who I'm starting out with. I don't want to overwhelm myself, so bear with me. Starting out with Sam. Now, Sam, I don't know if I've ever done this for you before, but I do a breathing technique. I call it the three, two, one. It's called the Silva method. You can look it up. It's a real thing. Um, and all I do is I breathe in through my nose. You guys are welcome to do this with me. And then when I breathe out, I think of the number three, three times in my mind, like on a movie screen and I see it. And I also say three, three, three in my mind. Then I do the same thing. Breathe in, breathe out the number two, 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 two. And then I do the same thing with the number one. It grounds you. It brings your brain into the uh, alpha state so that you can accept information. So if you do it with me while I'm helping you, it's really great. Okay, so here we go. What is musical mediumship? All it is is that I give you a song that comes to mind when I focus on you and you need to look at the lyrics or the song and see how it, how it means something to you. So for example, the other day the song I gave to somebody was Welcome Back from the show Welcome Back Cotter, which sounds very random, but as it turns out, she just moved back to her hometown. So I didn't know that. How would I know? Okay, so Sam's first, let's go. All right, Sam, I'm gonna do my breathing exercise. As I said, the more of you that do that with me, the better. How do my lives work just like this? It's whatever we do. Hi, Leslie. So here we go. I'm gonna breathe in. And then I'm gonna breathe out the number three, three times. Breathe in. Breathe out the number two, three times. Breathe in. Breathe out the number one. I'm helping Sam today, Spirits, Ancestors, Guides, and Energies. I am looking for a song that will help Sam right now move forward in her journey, give her information. Once again, everybody, I do upload these songs later on to my Spotify list, which is at the bottom of my link tree. You just tap that little green globe looking thing and it'll take you right to the playlist. All right, All right Sam, let's see what we get for you, sweetie. I got, um, I don't even like this song, but I got nothing but a heartache. Something do do do. I don't, I gotta I gotta get better at lyrics. Let me tell you that. Um, so it's heartache, nothing but a heartbreak. Something. So, who sings that? Is that like Linda Ronstadt or something? It was called nothing but a heartache. I don't know if you've been going through relationship issues or some other thing that's been frustrating for you, but that's your song, heartache. I can't remember who sings it, but I'll find it and I'll put it on the list. All right. She's all, hmm, okay. I don't know. All right, weird one. All right, Jules, you're next, darling. You go, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. All right, Jules. Kim Karens, what's that, hon? Kim Karens sings that? Oh, oh, she knew that. Oh, Kim Carnes? Is that Kim Carnes? Like the one who sings Betty Davis Eyes? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, you're right. She's got Betty Davis Eyes. I love that song. I was just singing that. Th Wasn't I singing that the other day? I had my ukulele out and I was singing that. How do we find out our song? Well, here's how it goes, Kelly. <laughs> is that the Kelly I think it is? I got you on the list, Kelly. You're on the list. Okay. So that was for Sam. She got nothing but a heartache from Kim Carnes. Jules, you're next. All right, here we go. Uh, it's kind of a corny song. I don't know. Um, it goes, uh, I, I know I've gotten this song. It's weird. I've gotten this song before too, by the way. This is for Jules. I got, I just want to stop and tell you what I think about you, babe. I just want to stop for your love. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I don't know who sings that, but that's your song. You need a Swifty song. <laughs> Ambrosia. I got to do Leslie. I got to give one to Leslie. Hey, from Scottsdale. Welcome in, Billy. I got to do Le Leslie. I haven't done one for you. I, I'm going to, you guys, I got to, okay, you guys, if you are not following Leslie, if you're 33 people, cool, follow her. Her podcasts are awesome and she has some really good guests. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not self promoting. Hey, Devon. Yeah, of course. I got you, Leslie. I've got two, two Leslies. I've got Leslie Fear and the other Leslie. Anyway, so Leslie Fear, you guys, first of all, she's an amazing interior designer. She's also a novelist. She writes paranormal romance novels, you guys. And she has a great podcast. She interviews some very extreme, interesting people. Ooh, I like that song. Thank you, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. I adore you too, Leslie. 
yeah, now, okay, let me get through the people I already have on the list because I'll get overwhelmed if I write too many down. So don't run away, you guys. I will get to as many people as I can tonight, okay? All right. So I'm going to jump in real quick for Leslie, Leslie Fear. All right, let's do Leslie. Oh, why are you saying wow, Jules? Why? What? Did that mean something to you that you can think of offhand already? That's cool. All right, so we're going to do Leslie real quick here first. She's next. Leslie Fear. Okay, Leslie, I'm going in for you, girl. Ah, you know, you got, um, I'll just sing it. And I've been waiting something because I built my life around you. A song's getting older and children get older and I'm getting older too. Oh, that's Fleetwood Mac. Oh, I got to do my Stevie Mac next then. Oh, I'm a mirror in the sky. What is love? <laughs> and I see my reflection in the snow-colored hills. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think she's amazing. I can't sing like her. I'm being silly. But anyways, that's what you got. You got landslide there, Leslie. All right. Let's go back now. Uh, I'm going to just go in a random order just because I feel like it. Kelly, are you still here? Oh, that's the other thing. When I'm talking to you, make sure you put a green heart up so I know it's you. Okay, so you're welcome, Leslie. So the other Kel Kelly is who I'm looking for. She asked me for her song. Kelly, give me. There you are. Okay, so Kelly, when you when after I answer, you want to talk to me, give me a green heart. Yeah, it is fun, huh, Billy? I'll put you on the list here. Okay, so Kelly's next. All right, Kelly, I'm going to focus on you. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, okay, right away. You got some before I even got started. You got Kenny Loggins. I'm all right. Nobody worry about me. And I gotta get it right. Why don't you just let me be? I'm all right. Do you remember that show, uh, the movie Cadillac, uh, Caddyshack, when the gopher's out dancing? I'm all right. <laughs> Nobody worry about me. Anyway, <laughs> getting carried away. Sorry. All right. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. All right. Moving on. Now we got Boy Mom. Okay. So what I always tell you is look up the lyrics when you have a minute and see how it applies to your life. Or if it's meaning to you in some other way, that's cool. Like maybe it's your mom's favorite song or your favorite song or I don't know. Or what's going on in your life right now. So Boy Mom, you're next. I just need your first name, sweetie. If you could just give me your first name. Elizabeth, you already did before I... <laughs> you knew I was going to ask you that. Good job, Elizabeth. Good job, Elizabeth. Okay. All right, let's do your song, honey. All right. Hey, Leanne, how are you? I have a nice voice. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's do Elizabeth. Huh. I got this really great song. I love it. It's, um, it's Iggy Pop and Kate, uh, not Winslet, Kate uh, Pearson from the B-52s. It goes, candy, 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 I can't let you go. All my life, something, something, I love you so. Oh, candy, 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 I can't let you go. So, check that song out. I love Iggy Pop, he's awesome. I'm not picking my nose, I'm scratching. Don't even say it. That's a scratch, not a pick. All right. Don't try me. Hey, Darla, I see your hearts, darling. But Darla, the, the green hearts are for people I'm working with at the moment. Guys, the green hearts are for who I'm working with at the moment. You're going to confuse me. <laughs> you're welcome, honey. I will be sure to upload that as well. Oh, thank you for the big heart, Billy. Thank you. All right, Kimberly, your next love. Let's do you. Sure, Trisha. Kimberly, let's get you going. Oh, right away. I didn't even start. You got our house in the middle of the street. Our house, our house, it has a crowd. There's always something happening and the music is quite loud. Our mom, she's so house proud. Nothing ever slows her down that the message won't allow. Madness, one of my favorite bands ever in the world. Our house, that was your song. 
don't know why. All right, Beverly's next. Sure, Nova, I'll get to you in just a minute. There's a few people in front of you, darling. darling. Beverly's next. There you are, I see you. Got you, Jennifer. Okay, I got a long list. Let me get through this list, guys. I'm not gonna end, but I, I gotta get caught up. So, Beverly's next. Oh, Beverly. I'm having a hard time, Beverly. Hold on. Oh, you got um, Faith by George Michael. You gotta have faith. Do, do. You gotta have faith. Do, do, do. Right? Yeah, talking heads are great. I do like them. Hey, Envy, good to see you. Hi, Brett. All right. So that was for Beverly. You got faith. You got to have faith. Do, do. Yeah, got, which is funny because I had a hard time getting a song for you. And I'm thinking, are you not into this? But maybe you have questions about your spirituality. Maybe that's part of this whole thing. I don't know, but that's going to, but I'm going to guess. So that was your song. All right. Now we're getting Devon. And then Leslie's next after Devon or Devon. Devon, are you still here? Give me a green heart, love. There you are. Is that you? The Reiki room? That's Devin? Okay, cool. Let's get you a song. Well, this is funny because it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it, you have so many questions. She says, yes, it means so much because I do have so many questions, says Beverly. And the song was Faith. Good. Listen to the song. Even though it's a campy song, there's something in there for you. Okay, Devin, I just had a song for you. It just went right out of my head. Hold on a second. Let me get it back. Spirits. Oh, I started to tell you. The song I got for you, which is funny, is Scarborough Fair, which is uh, Simon Garfunkel. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They were very, very, very popular in the 60s and 70s. Uh, are you going to Scarborough Fair? <laughs> My sign fell down. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me and the... You know, it's, it's a beautiful song. It's a madrigal. It's basically a madrigal. Uh, and a madrigal was like a renaissance song. And it's beautiful. I don't know if you ever heard that song, but it's beautiful. Yeah, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. So, hey, birdie. So if you've never heard the song, you would love it anyways. If any of you have not heard that song, it's beautiful. Uh, but... Obviously, it has to do with herbs, and, and you're a Reiki healer, healer. That's not why I picked that song, but that's what the song came out for you. So go and listen to it. It'll mean something. I promise. All right. Cool. I, I love that song. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Matter of fact, I cannot go through the spice department without singing that. You know that. Truth. Okay, Leslie, the other Leslie. Are you here? Let's get a song for you, my dear. There she is. Leslie's wild. So am I. Leslie's next, then Billy. Billy, who's sending me all kinds of roses and gifts, and I love it. Hi, Birdie. Sure, honey. You're up. There's a lot of people in front of you, though, but you will be up. All right, Leslie, you're next. The other Leslie. Oh. I've gotten this song before on here, but for whatever reason, I got it again. It's Billy Joel. And the song is, uh, You May Be Right. You may be right. Do, 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 do. You may be crazy, but it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Turn out the light. Don't try to save me. I may be wrong for all I know. Well, you may be right. You may be wrong, but you may be right. Yeah, yeah, you might be wrong. I'm being silly. Why not? I mean, you guys don't want me to be like, uh, here's our song. Let me light a match. You guys want me to have fun, right? Yeah, I knew it. All right, that was for you, Leslie. Def will give it a listen. <laughs> That's how I know I'm getting old because you guys are like, I've never heard that song. Those were songs that were literally on the radio every time you turn on the radio. So I know I'm getting older. That's okay. That means I'm getting wiser. Billy, Billy, Billy. You're next. Candace, I got you on the list. Billy. What do we get for Billy? This is a 
was fun. This is like, this was a one hit wonder. I'm going to tell you right now. And I, I would be very surprised if you know this song. Uh, it's, it's by the flirts, F L I R T S. And the song is called, such a bad song, but there's a reason it came up for you is all I'm going to say. It's, um, don't put another dime in the jukebox. I don't want to hear that song no more. Now, I'm going to say what I'm going to, what I think that is telling you, because I, I doubt you know the song, is the song is about, like, someone who just lies all the time. It's always, like, saying the same crap and lying all the time. So I feel like it's kind of a message to you, like, stop playing that song over and over again. Whatever this misunderstanding or or bad pattern is, I, I would say that's what that song is telling you right off the bat. Because I don't know all the lyrics to that song. I only know, like, part of it. So, All right. Next, we got Darla. Exactly. Really? Oh, cool. Why did that um, resonate for you? I'm curious. I got you, Grace. Hey, guys, if, if, it, if it resonates for me, tell me why. Give me a little quick why. Like, give me a green heart and say, oh, that's my, you know, I know why, why or whatever. That's cool. All right, Darla's next. I see you. Darla Fenda. Carla, I got you. I got you, Yannette. Yannette. Okay, I'm going to stop writing names down just for a few minutes, guys. I got to get caught up. I got like six people ahead. So let me get caught up. All right, so Darla's next. Darla. I got, I want to be loved by you, by you, and nobody else but you. I want to be loved by you alone. Boop, boop, be do. I want to be kissed by you. I don't know who's saying that. I know Betty Boop saying that. Sure, holistic, sure. Um, but well, I can find it. But it's an old-fashioned song. But it sounds like you're asking someone to be loyal to you or somebody to love you. Yeah, you can relate. Hey, cool, right on. Because of the woman I'm working with, and she's like a Debbie Downer every day. And what song did I give you again? I gave you, oh, don't put another time in the jukebox. <laughs> you don't want to hear her anymore. You know what you do? I'll tell you what you do with people like that. Hi, Ryan. You agree with them. Like, really agree with them. Like, ridiculously agree with them. So she's like, oh, this sucks. We don't get, you know five minute breaks anywhere, whatever you go, you're right. It sucks. Like mirror her behavior. Watch the reaction and don't make it like you're making fun of her. Don't, don't let her think you're making fun of her. Fully play the game with her. Play the game. Like she's like, I'm so pissed. I'm nah, nah, nah. You go, Oh, I'm so pissed too. It's so terrible. Like really you watch how fast they stop. Cause they can't figure out if you're making fun. And they'll even say, are you making fun? No, absolutely. Oh, you're right. So sucks. You know, I was fun to work with, right? <laughs> right on. There are several licks there that resonate. Mountain Clarion call. I was in a coma in 2021. No. Really? Which song did I give you? I'm sorry. I don't remember. Half time, but I just told somebody. Rake your oh, yeah. You had Scarborough Fair. That's right. I gave you Scarborough Fair. I say with God on a mountain, sat with God on a mountain. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that. Okay. So anyways, Darl, you got I Want to Be Loved by You. Now we got Trisha. Are you still here, Trisha? Give me a green heart if you're here, Trisha. Beverly says, I'm gifted like you. I was told at a very young age, my grandma, that what I saw and heard was, oh, that's cool, Bev. Yay, more intuitives. We're, you know, we're all gifted. We all are. The work of the devils. Oh, yes, of course. Since they know the devil. Right? I see you, Trisha. Okay, Trisha's next. Oh, um... Trisha, I got Peace Train by Cat Stevens. Ride on the Peace Train, Peace Train sounding louder. 
Come on the peace train, the peace train, do 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 do. Da, 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 da. Great song. Peace train. Get on the peace train, Trisha. Cat Stevens sang that. It's a moldy oldie. All right. Hope you like it. Nova's next. I know you like it. You know why? Because Miss Molly knows. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, Nova. Oh, right away I got, that's weird, Nova. Right away I got all apologies. That's Nirvana in the sun, in the sun. Mary, Mary, Mary. Should have, could have been something. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so you got Nirvana, all apologies. So check that song out. I'm getting all kinds of cool symbols up there. <laughs> all right, Jennifer's next. Jennifer, are you still here, love? Sazzy says, Amy, can I get on your list? Yes, you can, Amy. All right, I got you. Jennifer's next. I see you, Jennifer. All right. Oh, you got Stygo. I love that song. That's one of my favorites. Do, 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 do. Crimson and clover are moving on over. You gotta something get together until there's something that's older. Do 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 do. And Stygo is by the Dandy Warhols. And Stygo means some things you gotta get over. That's what Stygo means. Some things you gotta get over, and that's the song. So there's something you're not letting go of there, Jennifer. So listen to the song. May just be the title that's meaningful, but that's your song. I hear so I hear music in the background. We're we're off the coast of Miami. By the way, if you've never seen me before, let me just back up real quick. My name is Molly. I'm an intuitive psychic medium. We're just doing this game tonight. We do a lot of different things, um, and I live on a boat, the medium ship, right here in Miami. So that's why you hear clanging and dinging and noises in the background because I I literally can see the Miami shore from where I am. You're welcome, Jennifer. Okay. Now we got Bertie, Bertie with her wonderful Staffordshire. Is so you guys, Bertie has the most adorable dog you've ever seen, besides my Bruce and Roxy, of course. All right, Bertie. Oh, you got Thick as Thieves. Now you you may not know this song. Um, this song is by The Jam, and it goes, "We're no longer as thick as thieves." Do 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 do. Life is so rough, but not as tough as they are now. Something, something. Dun, 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 situation. I'm sorry, I cannot remember the lyrics to that one. But it was called Thick as Thieves. I will upload it to this playlist like I always do. Um, that's by The Jam. You might know that, aren't you British? You would probably know that if, if, if you do, if you live in Britain. Anyway. What? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Uh, Candace, you're next. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, Candace, you're next, dear. Still here? Candace. If you guys leave, I'm not going to do ya. There you are. Candace. All right, let me close my eyes. That's funny. I had a song. I, I, did you hear me earlier? I sang the song Candy before I even saw you in here. That was a song I gave to somebody, Candy, by Iggy Pop and um, Kate Pearson. All right. It's for Candace. Uh, I got Blondie. Call me along. You can't call me any day or night. Call me along. You can't call me any day or night. Call me. So I don't know if you're expecting a phone call or you're waiting to hear from somebody, but go ahead and listen to some. <laughs> I got you, Buffy. All right, we got Graceless. Graceless. Are you ready? There you are. Angela. She goes by Angela. Okay. You know, I, I hate to say this because I hear a song constantly. I actually like this song, but I hear it all the time, but that is absolutely popped into my head. Is that Paint the Town Red by Dojo Cat? 
Yes, bitch, that's what I said. I'd be rather famous than dead. Or whatever the famous instead, or whatever the hell she says. You know, it's that, uh, she's a devil, something, she's a rebel. You know that song? Yeah, bitch, that's what I said. I'm going to go and paint the town red. <laughs> that was your song, Angela. Don't know why. <laughs> ha ha, I just jammed to that for the first time a few days ago. <laughs> She says, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Hey, Heather. Funny. Okay. That was fun. I'm terrible with that song. I love that song and I'm always trying to sing it and I can never remember how to sing it. I got to work on my, I got to work on my memory on that stuff. Okay. Carla. Are you ready, Carla? Hey, Heather. I'm so glad to see you. Ready, Carla? Give me a green heart. There you are. Carla Shay. You never heard it before? You had never heard it before? Oh, that's so funny. I think it's a cool song. Uh, pretty not, not bad for me to know that song. I'm 53, right? I mean, I'm an old lady. I'm listening to that song. <laughs> I see you, Leanne, of course. Okay, we got Carla. Sorry, I'm getting a song and I'm like barely hearing it. I got, I got to give me a second, Carla. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit of a faint. Oh, okay. This is an old song. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of these songs are older because of course I have to be able to reference them and I'm older. So, um, this is a Carol King song and it's kind of sad, but it's beautiful. And I'm going to say that you're missing somebody or somebody's really missing you right now. Again, you're going to want to listen to the lyrics. The song's called So Far Away. It goes, so far away, why is everybody, wait, where, so far away, why does everybody, something, something, dun, dun, dun. it would be so kind to see your face at my door. But nothing really matters because you're so far away. You guys probably know that song. I think it's a beautiful song, but it's sad. It's called Far Away. So Far Away by Carol King. Why doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? It would be so fine to see your face at my door. See, now they're feeding me lyrics. Thank you, guys. You're so great. I like that song. It's just a warm hug song. It's sad, but it's kind of sweet. Like she's saying, I miss people. Why are people so far away? All right? Good song. You like that, Carla? Go listen to it. Okay. Eve Yannet. Yannet. She's been waiting. Yannet, Yannet, Yannet. Let's do ya. Hey, Trisha. Yannet's next. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, what is that song? Oh, gosh. Cause you're so cool. Is it cool? Just like the ocean under the moon. And then the same as every that they get from you. You got the kind of notion that could be so cruel give me your love get it real or let's forget about it that song is that let's forget about it yeah or let's forget about it who sings that you guys know that i'm sorry i cannot remember who sings that is that um it's not matchbox 20 no and let's forget about it do 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 it's kind of got like a Cuban sort of sound to the background. I think Santana plays on it too. It's like Santana and some other artist. Uh, who knows? I know somebody here knows. Come on, guys. Give me a heart then. Uh, oh, it is Matchbox. Okay. Smooth. Because you're so smooth. They kept saying cool. Smooth is the song. Because <laughs> you're so smooth. Uh, let's forget about it. Okay, that's a song. You got smooth, Yannette. You must be smooth. I don't know what that's about for you. I mean, I'm not, you know, doing mediumship at the moment. By the way, you guys, I don't know if 
if some of you guys have ever seen me do mediumship on here, like real medium, not this, this is mediumship, but actual mediumship. Have you guys seen me do that here? I don't do it a lot. You like that song? I do too. Uh, I'm really good at it, you guys. Um, if you've never seen me do it, please go to my YouTube and go watch some of my other TikToks. Um, I've had some really amazing mediumship sessions on here recently. Not that they weren't, weren't before, but even more. Like they were super exciting and I love doing it. It's extremely tiring. So I only do it once in a while. Okay. Even when I do it for one person, it's a lot, but when I'm on here and I do it for six, seven, eight people in one night, it's like kills me. So, um, and that's why I came up with other ways to do that for you guys, because I like to keep it, you know, this has a lot of energy and it's quick and it doesn't wear me out and I can help more people. And that's always my goal is to help as many people as I can. And in, in, and in saying that I'm gonna take a short break. I still got a lot of people. Um, but a short break to say a few things. One is please subscribe. You guys It's six bucks. I'm just going to say that you help me. This is my job. And I do normally do private readings for people and I do charge a lot. There's no doubt, but you know what? I'm worth it. But here I don't, I don't charge. So if you post testimonials, when I do something for you that you really like, that's super appreciated. Subscribing, super appreciated. Visiting my website, super appreciated. Hearts, loves, likes, sharing this live with other people, really appreciate it. That's all I ask for is that exchange of energy. You don't have to, to, uh, you know, bend over backwards just a little. It helps. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Alrighty, kids, back to the game. It's not really a game, but we'll call it, it's fun enough to call it a game, I guess. So holistic is next. Holistic, you still here, dear? We lost a lot of people. That was weird. We had a ton of people in the beginning. Is holistic still here? There you are, Green Gart. <laughs> that didn't work, but I know it's you. Okay, holistic, I'm gonna get your song doll. Oh, uh, hearts. hearts and something. It's Pearl Jam. It's a Pearl Jam song. Hearts. Brett. Okay, it's, um, thoughts and hearts, they fade, fade away. And I thought, da 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 it's funny, the boat is rocking right now. Can you see that? You probably can't because the camera's moving with the boat, but we're rocking back and forth right now. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Buffy. Ooh, you get something special tonight because you subscribed. All right, so it's Hearts and Thoughts. They Fade Away, I think is the name. I don't know the exact title, but it's Pearl Jam. You know that song? Heart, hearts and Thoughts, They Fade, Fade Away. Love that song. I, I don't know all the lyrics, though, so you're going to have to look it up, but it will be on the playlist. It'll be on the playlist, everyone on the playlist. All righty, so Buffy just subscribed, which kind of bumps her up to the top of the list. Sorry, guys, that's kind of fair, right? Um, so Buffy, you actually have two choices tonight. You don't have to have a musical mediumship. The other choice you can have tonight is Foley, and if you've never seen my Foley, what I do, finder of lost items. I see you, Trisha. Um, and the finder of lost items is if you lost an item, I can tune into it and help you find it. So you can have either a song or a Foley. Let me know what you'd like. Because subscribers get top priority for $6. Got Trisha next after Buffy. And then we got Amy and Leanne. So what is it, Buff? What you want? Song or a Foley? Do we have a lag? I think we might, guys. Sorry. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right. Buffy, if you're here, please tell me if you like a Foley or a song. Or I'm just going to pick one. And I do... Oh, there you go, honey. Okay, good. We I do upload these, by the way, to my YouTube channel, which is also Miss Molly Knows. After all this, I upload these. It take, might take a day or two, but I do get them uploaded, and you can watch them again. So if I tell you something you don't remember or you want to go back and watch, there's... Trisha said, I already have my song. Someone else can have my turn. Nope. Nope, you subscribed. I'm going to give you something else. You get something else. It's only fair, unless you want to wait till the next time. 
All right, so um, Amy, Buffy, you're next. What I would like to do for you, Buffy, if you don't want to do that, or I mean, Trisha, if you don't want to do that, um, you can either do the Foley or we can do um, something else. Okay, I have a couple other ideas. So, but, but Buffy, you want the song. Okay, let's do your song, honey. Oh, you got Surfing USA. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. That's a Beach Boys. You know that song. You've got to know that song. Everybody's got a notion in California. Yeah. Go surfing. Surfing USA. Inside, outside, do 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 Either a lost item I can find for you, Tricia, or we can wait till the next time if you want, when you want to do something else, some other life, and you will get priority as a subscriber. Thank you guys for all the gifts and tapping the screen. We're almost at 15,000 likes. That's very cool. And honestly, that really doesn't matter that much to me, except here's my goal, to help as many people as I can. So the more people that, that know about me, the more people I can know. The more, and the more you like and share and comment and watch and all those good things, subscribe. It just keeps things going. There you go. Something back All right, Trisha. I won't forget. All right. We got Amy. If she's still here. Amy. Amy, what you gonna do? I think I'm in love with you for a while, maybe longer. That's not your song, obviously. That's not fair. <laughs> but I'll get you a song, Amy. I have no idea, Amy, why I'm getting this song for you, but it's White Rabbit by um, Jefferson Airplane. One pill makes you smaller, and one pill makes you tall. And the pills that mother gives you don't do anything at all. Go ask Alice when she's ten feet tall. You heard that song? That's, that's a trippy song, you guys. The song is about Alice in Wonderland, but it's sort of like an acid trip. The song is trippy. Very well known in the 60s, that song. Go down the rabbit hole, right? Yeah, White Rabbit. That's a f If you've not heard that song, because a lot of you are so young, you may not have heard that song, check it out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to listen to it when I get off this live. That song is badass. And she sings it just so. I won't even try to sing like Grace Slick. The song's a trip. It's so good, especially if you're stoned. Um, anyway... You never heard it? Okay. Yeah. It's about Alice in Wonderland, sort of, but it's talking about drugs, basically, like being on a trip. And I'm not trying to encourage drugs by any means, but it's about this, like, voyage she goes on into Wonderland and through the looking glass and all this, but it's also kind of about psychedelics. Pretty cool. You saw Starship in concert in 87? Oh, you couldn't be that. You couldn't be that old. I'm kidding. That's not old. 87. Wow. You know, I didn't like it when they became Jefferson Starship. I liked Jefferson Airplane. When they started getting into the more cheesy, poppy music, I wasn't so into it. Oh, you're my, you're, you're only, you're younger than me. I'm 53. That's awesome. Okay. Did we lose Leanne? Is she still here, sweetie? I'm sorry. I got off, you know, I get off track sometimes. Leanne, still here. If you are, give me a green heart. We're still babies. There you are. Okay, let's do your song, sweetie.
Honey, could you turn that down just a teensy? Could you turn it down just a Fred, could you turn that down just a oh, sorry. Just a teeny. Thanks, sweetie. It's okay. I couldn't. It was kind of getting loud. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, back to you. Sorry, Leanne. There was something in the background that was distracting me. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, this song... I think is Helen Reddy. I remember it from when I was really little. So this is like the early 70s. I'm not kidding. And the song is, I don't know if the title is Ruby Red Dress or if the title is Leave Me Alone. But the song goes, leave me alone, won't you leave me alone? Just leave me alone, yes, leave me alone. Won't you leave me alone? Won't you leave me alone? And this is what all she keeps singing. So I don't know if somebody's pestering you or you need to leave somebody alone, but that's a pretty clear message. I haven't thought of that song in a million years, but it's called, uh, I think it's called either Ruby Red Dress or Leave Me Alone. So I will make sure I upload it to the playlist. Why are you laughing? Leanne's laughing. Is something going on where someone won't leave you alone? Yeah, because that's a pretty specific song. <laughs> I wish they would leave me alone. Who? Who's they? Who's they? Oh my God, there's a dinghy out there now. It's like suddenly all this noise. Ruby Red Dress. Yeah, is that the name of the song? Okay, Ruby Red Dress. I know, because the song starts like, good old Ruby Red Dress, do, 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 walking down the line, do, do, do. It's like this all kind of like, rah, rah, rah song. <laughs> Cause she's so fine. Family. Oh, <laughs> especially with Thanksgiving. Yay. Um, yeah, so that song. <laughs> no, why? All right. Uh, Fred, what time is it, honey? It's 8.46. Okay, good. Still got time. A few more minutes. So do you guys want to continue doing some musical mediumship? Or do you guys want to do something else for a while? It's Leave Me Alone, Ruby Red Dress. Okay, cool. Thanks. We'll find it. And all, these will all be uploaded to my Spotify, you guys, which is in my link tree in here. If you go in the bio, if you don't know what link tree is, it's basically just a bunch of easy buttons to find stuff. So if you click on my little picture and then you see my bio, like you'll see all my videos and all that stuff, there's a thing that says link tree. And so you tap that and it'll give you a bunch of buttons to stuff. So uh, all of my different social media, some of the special videos I have, podcasts, cool stuff that you guys want to know about, things like that, they're all on there. At the bottom, there are icons for, you know, like Facebook and link to, you know, different things. And there is a Spotify one. If you tap that, it will take you to the Spirit Jukebox. And that's where I upload these songs. Coolio, coolio. So would you guys uh, like to just hear about the exciting storm that we weathered for the day? It was so exciting. Um, we had crazy, crazy wind and rain, and we are on a mooring ball in the middle of the Atlantic near Miami. And we were prepared. We knew it was going to happen. It wasn't like we didn't know. Um, but, you know, it wasn't like a hurricane, but it was pretty close. It was pretty close. But we had a lot of the boats here break free which I actually was telling Fred because he was like, you know, you're, you know, you're not worried and that's cool. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm, the only thing I do worry about is the other boats. And sure enough, some boats broke free. Um, one sunk, we can see it. Um, a couple of them, you know, they ended up against one of the little islands and so forth. But um, there was one that literally I walked outside. There was no boat. I went downstairs, put a shirt on, came back upstairs, and the boat was <laughs> 20 feet from our boat. And it hit our neighbor's boat and then tangled on their um, line. So I put it up. There's a little film, I think, on a couple of my social media things. Um, I'm not trying to scare you guys. We're okay. We're totally okay. But it was a scary moment. Um, the boat was tangled up, and they had some crazy guy comes out to, to help. I don't know why this guy is so brave, because literally I would not be on a boat in that weather. And he cuts the boat free, and the boat swings right towards... Oops, my earring just fell off. Sorry. The boat swings right towards our boat, and I'm looking through the window right here, watching this 40-foot boat come barreling towards our boat. 
and I'm screaming like to Fred, it's going to hit us. And Fred's trying to grab a bumper. Um, and oh, it didn't happen. Uh, he li literally it was like a movie. It was like, it was coming. And then at the very last second, he pulled it away from us. I was freaking out, man, freaking out, man. <laughs> I was at the level of freak out like I was the other night when that fairy thing happened that turned on my car. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. So, yeah. But we were okay. But uh, we see the boat. We went into uh, shore today, and the boat is over there. We can see the tattered sail and everything. It looks like a ghost ship. <laughs> we don't know whose boat it is. There's a lot of boats that get abandoned out here. Like, they just anchor and leave them out there. And if, you know, they don't get checked on, they get loose. It happens every time there's a storm, apparently. So not cool but it happens so unfortunately though we have to be vigilant when that's going on so it was an exciting night but we were okay i, I mean what do you do it is i mean we're, we weren't going to try to jump in the water and do anything i mean you know it was like crazy the weather was insane it was it was pretty much a hurricane it was pretty close truthfully but here's the cool thing we're on a, on a, a catamaran a catamaran has like two like you know like runners or pontoons sort of it's a sailboat, but and we have motors too, but it's it's a catamaran. So we're not a mono hull. When I say mono hull, like a regular old boat, you know, it has like this kind of a bottom. Ours is a double runner bottom like this. So like we don't move the way the other boats do. It's very calm for us. And our boat was pitching around a lot, but nothing like fell off the shelves and stuff. But everybody else's boats were a mess. Uh, why do they why do they do that? Why do they abandon them? Um Boats are interesting, you guys. They're a lot more work than people realize. You know? Um, a lot of people like to say a boat's a hole you dump your money in because everything you do on a boat tends to be expensive. To fix it, to, to update it, to upgrade. It always tends to be very expensive because, you know, let's face it, salt water eats your boat up. You know? You know, like the seals in a lot of our windows are bad and we had a lot of water in our boat. You know, and it's not our fault. We didn't know because we hadn't had that kind of rain yet. So we had to figure it out. It's cool. That's how we know, though. I'd rather know now before we try to take some big trip and find out. It's better to know now. So, so people just leave them <laughs> sometimes. They're like, I don't want to deal with this. And they, they don't know how to sick. get rid of them. and they don't, Or they get sick and they can't take care of it. Or they die and nobody knows what to do with the boat. Or, you know, or it even gets stolen sometimes. We don't know. I mean, it's just like, any, like when you find an abandoned car. It's the same idea. Or abandoned house. It makes me sad because, I mean, like, someone could live in that boat, right? Living in a boat's not the worst thing, honestly. I like it. So, there's that. The sky looks beautiful. The sky looks beautiful? Oh, yeah. It always does. It is beautiful here. Even when the storm was happening, it's pretty, but, it, boy, it got so socked in we couldn't see. But the next day there was a rainbow. Really pretty one. Coming right out of the mast of a boat that was on side. I have a picture. I try to post a lot of that, but I know I don't want to distract you guys too much with that because I know that's not really what I do is not take pictures of my boat. Right. <laughs> but it's part of who I am. And I've become much more in tune since I've been living on the water. Truthfully. I've had much better readings. I've had much better connection with you guys. It's been better. A lot of good, cool things happening, you know. Is anybody doing anything fun for Thanksgiving or you know, avoid it or whatever? We're going to go, we're going to go um, see Fred's kids, go have dinner. So we'll be out of town for a day or two. Huh? Thanksgiving. I don't really care about holiday. I'm funny that way, you guys. I'm not a big holiday person, really. I mean, I like it and I don't. I don't know. So, I mean, unless somebody invites me somewhere, so they don't really make a big deal about it. Halloween, I like. That's all. It's, and it's not really technically a ho holy day, right? Unless you're uh, Wiccan. Yeah. Or Pagan. But, uh, yeah. So, hey guys. I think we'll uh, go ahead and call it a night. I'm kind of tired now. But thank you guys. I will upload these songs as soon as I can uh, to the Spotify playlist. Go ahead and look at my link tree anyways, you guys. You might find something cool that you want to watch or listen to or see. Um, oh, I wanted to mention something real quick before I jump off. Um, there's a video I posted about McDonald's, and it's true, <laughs> by the way. It's not false news. I posted a thing about McDonald's, but what was important to me was to tell you guys, after that video, there's a 
segment of the podcast I was on with Leslie Fear, where I predicted that was going to happen. And that's why I made that video. But I think the format, it got flipped around and it's like nobody watched the whole thing. But anyways, if you have interest in that, that was a prediction I made. And I made predictions through the rest of the year. So you might want to listen to it. It's on Leslie Fear's podcast. And again, it's in my link tree. All right, guys, enough self-promotion. I love you. Thanks for hanging in with me. Subscribers, I especially thank you and all of you for participating tonight. It was a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye. Have a great weekend.